from Chloe, could you give a general idea of what goes on in a recording booth from getting the script to finishing all the lines? Oh man, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, online shopping, uh, a lot of people <laughs> on their phones with their heads down. Uh, I still pay attention. I'm like, again, a kid in a candy store. I, I walk in there and I'm like, oh my God, that's Johnny Bravo. Oh my God, <laughs> Yakko, Wacko and Dot are sitting yeah. right there. You know, I'm still a fanboy at heart. I'll always be a fan. That's, that's me, me too. <laughs> you know, you get, well, you get a script and uh, usually if you're a good student, you look at it at least uh, for your lines the night before. You're like, where do I speak? Where do I speak? So I get to have a snack here. I get to sit down and drink. I get to check my Instagram between here and these scenes. Uh, but no, you want to make sure that you're all studied up. At least look at the script once. Do yourself a favor. Just look and just be aware of what's happening. Like, you know, there were many times even on Muppet Babies where, uh, you know, I would, I would know that I have a session tomorrow at nine and I still haven't looked at my scripts. And it's like, there will, there will be days where I just go to work and be like, oh, shoot, it's a Fozzie episode. Or, <laughs> oh, shoot, oh, shoot, it's like Fozzie, Bunsen, and Statler talking to themselves. So it's like, I'm so screwed. Now I have to talk to myself for like four hours. And I didn't study. I didn't look at the script. <laughs> Boy. Uh, I, I see these are lessons that I'm learning all over again in my <laughs> own crash course is right after this is done. I'm going to look at my script. Uh, but yeah, you'll get the script hopefully the night before you'll prep. Uh, you'll go in, you'll go in on time. You don't, you don't pull a Bowser no. or a, or a great Delisle. I'm going to throw her under the bus. Uh, <laughs> Cause she always, I'm getting my nails. I just got my nails done. You know, I hope, I hope that gets back to her so she can, uh, <laughs> She could virtually kick my ass over Zoom because uh, she can. She's that powerful. She's amazing. Uh, always dressed to the nines, by the way, Gray Delisle. Yeah. Always making me look like uh, like I just rolled out of bed, usually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you know, you work through a script. If there's two, you might get a break between two scripts. And by two, I mean two 11-minute scripts, uh, approximately like uh, 15 to 18 pages. Uh, but if not, it's, it might be a 22 minute script and, you know, anywhere between 18 to 25, 30 pages, uh, might be pushing it. But, um, yeah, you, uh, if you're also lucky, you might get the animatic there on display. Uh, they may have already done the scratch performances for you and you just sit and watch. And at least for the timing of the scene, you'll get a sense. They don't expect you to copy the temporary dialogue. Uh, but sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's like, okay, at least you're, you're showing us what, what is happening in the scene physically and, you know, what are the stakes? Uh, you know, how is this advancing the story? How is it advancing my character? All that stuff. And, uh, you know, and if it's Cartoon Network, then you open the uh, communal refrigerator and steal mm -hmm. all of the ice cream sandwiches that oh, are... Yeah are meant there for the executives. And then eventually you'll get <laughs> caught like me. And they say, hey, how are those ice cream sandwiches? You jackass, those are for us. <laughs> then you never work at Cartoon Network again. <laughs> Except this year. Uh, yeah. I kind of got back in. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, we've had enough of belly bag. <laughs> um, uh, what are some challenges you have come across when working in the sound booth? lack of snacks uh you know, <laughs> like hi where 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 the where the pretzels i love i love having snacks in the booth um challenges definitely you know again just carving out that character there are some things in this life that you just can't help like sounding like someone else i remember uh when i was part of the uh 2012 version of teenage mutant ninja turtles little did you know i was the fourth person uh to read uh for the character of Raphael in and I finally made it to pilot stage before I was replaced by a young actor by the name of Sean Astin I don't know if you know this uh this actor Sean Astin but I think he's going places and I think he has a <laughs> shot in his career no I love Sean he's he's fantastic and the the work that he did as Raphael was amazing but uh, uh one of the notes I remember um you know, when they were watching the pilot back was that my voice was very similar to Jason Biggs who had a very edgy kind of voice. And he was the original Leonardo mm. before he got replaced by Seth Green. Uh, so you can imagine how different the world would have been if Seth Green started out as, 
uh, Leo, and then I ended up as as Wrath. It was very strange. I was very excited to be a the 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 red uh, bandana wearing Ninja Turtle. Uh, but then I got the news. Hey, you know, we really we really liked you. We really tried to keep you in there, but we're gonna go with uh, with this newcomer, Sean Aston. And uh, sorry. And then at that point, you just like you're like, oh man, you know, like I just. I just finished telling all my family members I was going to oh. be a Ninja Turtle. But then you don't. But then, like, a season later, they're like, but we did create this brand new character <laughs> named Tiger Claw. And you're just like, what? You know, like, <laughs> mind blown. It's like, again, you can't be so hung up and sensitive about losing a role. I know to some people it's the, it is the be all and end all. It could be the end of the world, you know, like you've been waiting your whole life for this. And it doesn't work out. But then light shines through the clouds right on you. And suddenly you are voicing an original character. My dream now is that there's five tiger claws in like seven different remakes happening down the road. You know what I mean? To be yeah. the original tiger claw would be awesome. Uh, and to have some newcomer have a, a stab at it. Hey, again, I'm, I'm all about sharing the wealth. Um, but yeah, uh, difficulties like that and i mean though that just happens it's not even a uh, that that's the closest for me when it comes to like difficulties you mm -hmm. know and again also uh just just not being the right fit it might not even be you it, again it's just it's it's sometimes just chemistry or something just doesn't work and again it's that weird x factor that's involved uh, but that's just all a part of it you just got to learn how to walk away and and hope hope they'll remember you for the next one yeah.